I gonna do? We're gonna install this thing. <laughs> <laughs> she got me this for my birthday, so I'm gonna install this. Here we go. Have fun. Thanks. I'll be in the garage. Okay, I've never uninstalled this before, but before I install the new one, I'll show you guys how the old one feels. It's okay. It's not weighted. Not really. So now I'm going to take it off. Never done this before, but I don't figure it'd be that hard. Let's see. There's a lot of thread on that. Oh, okay, it's actually... It's actually not too bad. It's actually a got a little bit of weight to it. Got the likewise one here. This is the thick boy. Oh, it is heavy. Oh, thick boy for a reason. Oh, dang. It's actually a lot smaller than I thought. It is. Likewise. This is 500 grams, so 1.1 pounds. So first step is I got this adapter here. This is to help with the lockout mechanism. So I'm just gonna thread it all the way. I believe it should go all the way. It should go all the way down. It shouldn't prevent the lockout mechanism that's in this car. This is the other piece that I have to thread on. Um, there's multiple pieces to this to get the adapter correct. So, oh, so sorry for the poor lighting, but. Here it is. That's the next part right there. I didn't know I need this, but apparently I do need a wrench to tighten this. That's the proper way to do it, according to the instructions. And then I put this back on. And then now the logo is facing towards here. I kind of like it like this. Okay, I'm going to keep it like this. Now to try the difference. Oh. This is, okay, this is a lot bigger difference than I thought. I did not, what? The shifting is so much better. Okay, the only thing that I don't like is how, see how tall this is? For me to get the lock-in me lock mechanism, I have to go all the way, which is gonna be kind of annoying, but the shift feeling wise, it feels so good. What the heck? Oh yeah. Well, this feels way better. Heck yeah. Nice. This is a W. Sorry for doing this so late. Uh, this is more like a study break. I have a final this week. So uh, just trying to kill some time and taking a study break and installing this. But dude, this is, this is amazing. This feels so good. What the heck? Heck yeah. Okay, I can't wait to drive this and take it for a spin tomorrow. Here's the old one. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Keep it as a souvenir. This one's really cool too. Right, so we're going to do some driving impressions with this new uh, shift knob here. It's actually really nice. I've done a little bit of driving with it already. So like I said, I did do a little bit of driving with this already. I just didn't have a chance to record it, but yeah, it's actually a lot more um, 
effortless when I start to drive it. Like the shifting feels so much better. But uh, yeah, this thing feels great. The only thing about it is that because it's made out of um, the metal that it is, compared to like the original leather shift knob, it's very sensitive to like temperature change. So when it's super cold, the knob is super cold. And then when it's super hot, it gets freaking hot. So I'm gonna get like, well, I have it already. I have the little, you know, the little angry octopus and I have the octopus. I'm just gonna use it as a kind of like a ship knob cover to kind of prevent the temperature changes. So it doesn't affect my hands as much when I'm shifting in the morning or if I leave the car out in the sun. But yeah, it feels really good. Like it's almost, it feels almost effortless when you shift through the gears, which is really nice. And I think it has kind of helped me, in a way, get rid of a lot of the difficulty getting into second. I'm not sure if a lot of you, like, that have this car experience it, but I feel like second gear, from first to second gear, is very jerky at times. Like, you have to kind of time the, the clutch and the uh, gas pedal a lot we have to hold on the uh, clutch pedal a lot longer than the other gears because you are waiting for the RPMs to drop but it, it feels like I'm not sure if like it's just in my head but it feels like this has kind of helped um, eliminate some of that some of that feeling where like you experience like the jerkiness in second gear comes with learning how to drive a stick shift car but so far zero miss shifts I just love the way it feels but yeah likewise makes uh, really good products for uh, shift knobs I highly recommend it they also have adapters that make sure that whatever your shift knob is you have the uh, right type of fit so it doesn't like so mine at least with this car has a lockout mechanism for the reverse um, so you kind of pull up and then you go to the left to uh, get into reverse some cars are to the left or to the right it's nice that they added that kind of um, collar to help prevent the uh, lockout mechanism from being stuck where you're not able to use it so that's really cool um, they pay attention to detail they make sure that they have proper fitting for the shift knob that you have. All you gotta do is just look up into their website. They have a whole pamphlet of all the adapters that you need for uh, what car that you have. So I think that's really cool. Each other's playlists Don't know Used to be each other's best friends Yeah And now 
we got separate pathways